hey you guys this is my 18 weeks pregnant um video blog uh it's like 11 o'clock at night and um tomorrow i'll actually be 18 weeks pregnant which is june 29th so i'm doing it like a couple of hours early but whatever um i wanted to come to you guys with like a small haul um of things that i've got in and i feel like are really resourceful because um i didn't know you know that these were things that i could actually get or where to find them so the first thing is prenatals um my first three months of my pregnancy i did not take my prenatals at all because they made me sick the ones that my doctor prescribed me made me sick and um that was my primary care doctor and after she prescribed me though she told me that she couldn't see me anymore because i was pregnant and um i just had a really hard time with um getting insured because at first my we're gonna skip that that'll be a whole different video anyway so the prenatals that my doctor um prescribed me made me sick so i would not take them for the first three months um i have them right here i'll show you what they look like here they are um you can't really tell on camera because it's yellow in my bathroom for some reason but um there are these pink pills they're not they're not that big um they're not like the big horse pills that i remember my mama taking but yeah they just they made me sick i never could keep them down so i stopped taking them after about the first week or so that i got them um i recently found out you can get prenatals out like the grocery store had no idea went to walmart um to see about getting some different iron pills for my anemia and i ran into these they are prenatal gummies um by vital fusion i also seen them in target um the price compared to target and walmart was about the same when i seen them in target they were like 10 something on sale regular price like 11 something and walmart they were like 10 something so the price was the same um it comes with 90 um vitamin gummies um and you're supposed to take two a day so that's actually a month and a half supply it um it does sound kind of pricey compared to the ones that were prescribed to my doctor because i only have to take one of those a day and it's 30 and they come in and they were only like seven dollars altogether. but um it's worth it you know if you can't keep your prenatals down and prenatals are definitely very beneficial for both you and your baby um it's worth it because before I started taking my prenatals again, um, I just wasn't feeling good. I was always weak, getting dizzy and lightheaded. Um, didn't really feel like doing anything. I wasn't very active. And um, a lot of that has to do with my anemia as well. But I also know it was because I wasn't able, I wasn't getting all my vitamins. So, um, yeah. So if you having problems keeping your prenatals down, I would definitely recommend those. I talked to my doctor about them, my OBGYN, and she said they were great and that she was even going to recommend them to um, her other patients. <sighs> Excuse me, you guys. I get out of breath. Like, and it's, I don't think it's from the pregnancy. Um, it could be. I don't know. I, I think it's from my anemia. My anemia has been giving me a lot of problems since I've been pregnant, but whatever. The next thing is um, this. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me take it out the pack. Um, as most of you know, I have a belly button ring piercing. Um, and as I get bigger, I will have to remove it. As of right now, it's fine. Talked to my doctor about it. She said I'm fine for now. But once my stomach begins, you know, getting bigger, I will have to take it out. And um, I went and bought this thing it is a flexi bar it's flexible um and you can just put that in 
in place of your belly ring and you can take your other belly rings and um, remove the end or the top and put them on this band on this yeah on this bar so um, I think that's pretty cool it's I got it for five dollars at um, Memorial City Mall in Houston Texas um, I went on vacation last week yeah so um, I got it for $5 at Memorial City Mall. There's a website called Maternity... Hold on. Maternity Piercings is the website. And they have some really, really cute ones. And I thought they were going to be super expensive. But um, the prices on their website range from like $4 to about $8 to $10. That's really awesome because all the boots and stuff that I went to... Um, at the malls and stuff that actually even carried the pregnancy um, belly button rings they were charging like $20 and stuff and I don't want to pay $20 for a belly ring that I'm going to wear for like 2 or 3 months I just don't but um, that website awesome I might order one from there I might not be that I just have a bar and I can switch out my bar and um, yeah all that stuff Another thing is, um, uh, yeah, I bought these little legging things. I've seen girls wear them before and I'm like, okay, but um, now that I'm getting bigger, um, I decided to invest in them because they look like jeans, but they're tights and, um, I guess it's like a way to kind of stay out of maternity pants in a way. So, um, sorry. Yeah, it's a way to stay out of maternity pants. So I'll show these to you really quick. Uh oh. Here they are. They look like jeans. They have like the little pocket and stuff imprinted on them, but they're not. They're um leggings. Like yeah. So, um, I only bought one pair depending on depending on how I like them I might go back and buy um another one they had them in like dark denim type thing too so um yeah um what else oh I started a baby blanket when I was about two months pregnant I started a baby blanket um just for the hell of it it was like kind of a way for me to kind of cope because at that point in time I just was not too happy about my pregnancy and um, I guess it was kind of like a way for me to accept it and be happy about the situation if not happy then at least content so I started um this baby blanket and I never really finished it I'm going to finish it but here it is hope you guys can see it um i am not a pro at crocheting so don't judge me too much this is my baby blanket i did it on um, brown yellow and tan i picked yellow because i i don't know what i'm having yet um definitely didn't know it two months and the brown and tan because i'm having my baby in the winter so nice little winter blanket um yeah as far as um my pregnancy goes um I've I don't know I've kind of been having problems with eating like I eat of course um but it's a lot of things that I still can't eat like I can't eat ground beef and that really sucks because I love Burger King and I can't have Burger King um, I've been really, really thirsty lately. Um, I don't know what that's about, but I've been drinking everything and I love ices and smoothies and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I, I've been trying to eat as much as I can. It just seems like I just cannot eat that much meat anymore so I eat like a lot of salads and I can't really eat fruits because they're too acidic for me and I throw them up uh yeah but it's much much better than it was in my first trimester um I I get a sonogram next week next Tuesday 
um and at that time i will be 19 weeks pregnant and i'll be able to find out the gender of my baby i'm really excited when i saw my grandma last week um she rode on my belly and she told me i'm having a girl so we will see Ooh, excuse me um also um when i went to the doctor it was it was kind of funny um it was my first time going to the doctor since april because of the problems that i had um with my insurance but um when i went to the doctor about two weeks ago the doctor assistant looked at me she was like um are you here for an ultrasound you know she was like are you pregnant i was like yes ma'am she was like are you sure i was like yeah <laughs> You know, and I, I even had on a shirt that was kind of fitted, you know, to to my shape. And um, she was like, okay, you know, and she asked me how far along I was. And she was like, you're really small, you know. But um, my doctor said there's nothing to worry about. Everyone carries their babies differently. Um, and so far, I'm on, the, I'm on a good track. I've gained six pounds. Yeah, I've gained six pounds and i'm on the right track so uh, this weight gain thing is kind of hard for me but at the same time it's like you know it's, it's for a healthy well it's for a good reason and it's for me and my baby to both be healthy but yeah it's just kind of it's kind of weird stepping on the scale and saying like so much weight i haven't i haven't been i'm 159 now so it's like i haven't been in the 160s since oh gosh since 2008 so that's you know ugh. anyway um also um i mentioned that i was in houston so i did do some traveling i actually drove there from here which is a 13 hour drive and um yeah it was pretty interesting um with the way that i get tired i didn't think i was going to be able to do that drive but um i i went through it no problems my sister my sister and my friend with, with, went with me and um i just took like a hour nap i thought i was out for a couple of hours they told me i was only out for like 45 minutes but um yeah i just took like an hour nap on the um on the ride there and um yeah, I mean, so if you're pregnant and you think about traveling, you know, going long distances and stuff like that, you can definitely do it. But I'm still early in my pregnancy. I'm only in my second trimester. But, um, you know, just wanted to say it was like no problem, you know. I thought that there would be some delays. I thought there would be um, more bathroom breaks than there were. But, um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't a complicated travel at all. So, anywho... Um, this is 18 weeks, and I will see y'all um, more than likely next week because I'm going to be super excited to find out what I'm having, and I know I'm going to want to share that with you guys like immediately. So I will see you next week and tell you guys what I'm having. to me.